What's up? It's time for more Windbreaker. <laughs> this is episode eight. Um, and we are in the middle of this tournament arc right now, and I'm loving it. I'm really, really loving it. Last episode was legit. I mean, we had Sakura and Togame, and if I get any names or events wrong in this, please, uh, do not burn me at the stake. It, it happens sometimes, but I think Sakura and Togame were fighting. We learned about Togami's backstory, which was really, really good, and actually... Um, it bumped this whole show up a little bit for me because I started to now trust more in the writing and um, and appreciate the characters a lot more because I found this character Togame had a lot more depth than I expected and not in a like oh this guy I thought he was a bad guy but he was a good guy not in that kind of way you know it was more in a very complex like he is a bad guy but it's because he's sort of like lonely and confused and is struggling with, um, you know, giving up something that was very important to him. I think I did, a, a, like, a, I dove into it quite a bit in the discussion of the last episode. So if, you, if you're just watching the summer and you're like, he didn't get it at all, go watch the previous video that I did and jump, the, uh, jump into the discussion and see if I did actually get it. But I think I did. I think I got, or at least my interpretation of it, I'm pretty confident with. Um, so I, I really, really enjoyed it and I can't wait to see, um, you know, I think we're probably going to continue the battle. It... it Sort of, I don't think the the battle ended last episode, so um, I'm going to see. I mean, it's possible the episode starts and he goes like, you know what, I forfeit, I can't do this anymore, but I don't know. So let's jump into this. Um, please make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I'm a small channel, so please help me out. I especially love to read your comments, so leave them down below. And uh, if you want the full-length reaction, that's on my Patreon account in the description below. I also have a Gen Watches One Piece YouTube channel where you can watch my One Piece reactions, and they are amazing so let's jump into this this is episode eight of windbreaker is this song on my it is now on my spotify playlist it took me eight episodes to go yeah it's amazing mm -hmm. <laughs> i feel confusion from his fists <laughs> Oof. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I want you to learn more about him. <laughs> uh, well, I got bad news for you. Oh, okay. You, you're committing? <laughs> you're staying on this path? Even though you're not satisfied with it. Ah, that's a good metaphor. Huh? <laughs> that's what I was implying before. I like that Sakura speaks his mind. <laughs> I love it. Oh, really? Because I just got a good kick on you. Oh. Jesus, leg can. Fucking stretch high. <laughs> Damn, he's breaking through to him. This is like Deku versus Todoroki. Man, the water rolling down his face. Just like tears. I couldn't tell if he was crying or just... If it was just the water, and that's, I think, the point. Yep. Oh! <laughs> You're distorting who you are, man. Man, 
Oh, I think Sakura might lose this, but he might get the moral victory. <laughs> Scruggles. <laughs> moja, moja, janai. Oh, the shoes are coming off. Oh. He's back to who he really is. Aw. Sakura. This is good. <laughs> It looks like him. <laughs> looks like him from his backstory. It's nice. Oh! Oh, it's, it's a legit fight! Oh! God damn! They're both bloody and... And they're both having a great time. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Oh, he punched the floor. This is probably the most fun both of them have had in years. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. It's amazing. And Choji is in awe, I think. Oh, I love that shot. <laughs> but he's so much fun. Because <laughs> we are fighting the real him. Yeah, I just realized he didn't even call him Othello kun. Oh. <laughs> The animation is so good. Oh, God damn. I think Tagami gets up and Sakura doesn't. <laughs> That's what you want, Choji. You want to feel that good. Gotta be true. Okay. Okay. But who? Sakura. <laughs> they became bros. It's amazing. Oh my god. They're really just going to go for a full on punch. Mmm. Mmm. You didn't fight for what you wanted. You turned away. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> oh! Shit! He got the punch! <laughs> You win. Gave up. Oh, that's so awesome. Everything about that battle was great. I really loved that. Sakura san. <laughs> God damn, man. Oh, he doesn't want him to give up. <laughs> <laughs> Choji's too excited about his own. <laughs> no, you're not gonna be able to get Choji to stop. Choji's gonna punch you in the face, I think. Oh no. Yeah! Jeez, man. He's gonna be like, you lost. Yeah. Oh, I don't think you can take Choji, man. Yeah, good job, Umemia. It's not your fight. I think he just saved you, Sakura. Yeah, you had a conversation with Tagame. You understood him. <laughs> what 
Wow, it's amazing how much I like Togami now. He was a great villain, but now he's just someone I love. I just genuinely love. Because you had a conversation with him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are we starting this battle this episode? Mm. Good question. <laughs> He's like, oh well. Time to start. Oh shit. If you had felt something, you might have been human. Mm. I cannot wait for Umemieto to beat him. Oh shit! We're starting already. Ooh! Climbed on top of him. Holy shit! Hoo -hoo! Oh, this animation is sick. Look at the camera movements! Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Oh shit! God damn, he's agile! Holy shit! The way he like grabs the outstretched arm and starts doing all his moves. <laughs> he just wants to fight. Whoa! Oh shit! Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> this show. Incredible, man. This arc has been so, so good. I'm. I'm really, really impressed by it. I'm impressed by the character work. I'm impressed how it's like taking a lot of themes that I really enjoy. Um, I mean, people might have mixed responses to me saying this, but it it's taking a lot of themes that I really liked in My Hero Academia and, um, and using them nicely. Now, I'm not saying My Hero Academia has the uh, monopoly on those themes. I'm saying it reminds me of, of them of those themes because uh, of how those parts of those storylines affected me and these ones did as well. Um, so like, obviously I was comparing this match to uh, Todoroki and, um, and Deku because this match was very similar to that. And I won't spoil what happens in MHA um, in case you haven't seen MHA. I do, I do genuinely recommend it even though uh, people these days have mixed feelings on the show. Um, I have always loved it and I still continue to love it and I still think it's an excellent show. Um, and yeah, those, the, this fight was very similar to that fight, I feel like, as well as, um, I feel like the whole idea of like a fight being a conversation is similar to like Deku and Bakugo's relationship in the show as well. Um, I think it's a really cool, uh, perspective to have. I love that Umemiya steps up and says to Choji like, you were watching that fight, did you feel anything? And Choji's like, uh -huh, not really, <laughs> you know? Like, he, Choji just doesn't get it. And so Umemiya's like, yeah, you, you truly aren't doing this for the right reasons then. You, you watched that passionate fight that those characters clearly went through some heavy, heavy shit and some massive changes and you didn't, you felt nothing. You were just watching the fight, you know? Like you, you aren't, you aren't fighting on the level that I'm fighting at for the same reasons. And I, I, so I really enjoy that. I mean, I'm, I'm loving Umemiya more every episode I see him. Um, but, uh, but yeah, the whole idea of like a fight being a conversation is like really cool because it's something, as I've said, I've seen touched on in, in other stuff before. Especially, like, there's this idea of, like, oh, guys sometimes who are, like, particularly aggressive need to fight to get it out, you know? And it's, like, it's something sometimes that you say that about siblings as well. Like, sometimes siblings need to fight and get something out and then they, they come out better on the other side. Um, I'm not that sort of person. <laughs> if I fight with someone, it doesn't 
it doesn't make it, our relationship better. It tends to make it worse. Um, but I mean, sometimes it, it can help you, but like not especially not physical fights look, look at me look how skinny i am i'm not a physical fighter um so i uh but i really like the idea especially for fictional characters um in a story like this i can get behind in real life probably not but in a story like this it's fucking great and um and i really love you know the idea that both um sakura and um, Togami reached an understanding and they were fighting with huge grins on their faces. Like, this was the best thing because it was, like, they, they had found someone who understood them and got them and, like, were pushing, they were pushing each other to their limits. And it was, it was perfect. It was, I have no notes, uh, about, about, uh, that fight at all. Like, it was just, like really really great okay one note one note is at one point they showed like a flashback that we'd already seen and kind of didn't add anything that's literally the only note and that was like a, a 15 second detour you know like I, I think they were just trying to fill up time and reshow that flashback or they wanted to cement it in our minds but i feel like it was already pretty clear at that point they didn't need to do that but um but it was uh but i mean that's literally like the nitpickiest thing I could say about the fight it was it was so so effective I think and just great character work on top of great choreography I'm so glad Cloverworks got this show out of uh out of a lot of studios you know a lot of studios wouldn't have been able to go that hard on the fights but Cloverworks can do it I'm so proud of Cloverworks they've come a long way I feel like well I just I feel like they always had the potential from what I remember, um, but there was like several years ago where Cloverworks, I considered them the biggest like hit or miss company. Um, there was a, a a certain you know time where it was like, okay, well they have stuff like Promise Neverland season one, amazing. Promise Neverland season two, one of the worst things that I've seen, unfortunately. Which I hate saying that because I don't like talking about negative. Um, stuff, but like Promised Neverland Season 2, it, it felt devoid of any passion. Like it felt like nobody cared about it, which is really, really upsetting because especially since it, they were trying to just rush the series to finish it as soon as possible, which is insane to me. I don't know why. Like it, it could, it was, it could have been so good. I feel like, I don't know. I haven't read the manga, but apparently there was like a really good arc that they just completely skipped because they're trying to finish it off as fast as they can. Um, so, like, Promise Neverland Season 2, horrible, you know? Um, uh, Wonder Egg Priority was really, really good, but then it had a weird and underwhelming ending. A lot of people said, like, the first half of Wonder Egg is great and the second half is shit. I don't really believe that. I actually believe the whole, like, main show is, is good. And I actually liked some of the episodes towards the end that people didn't like. I actually really loved um, but there was, like, it, it was basically like, this is cool if you're setting up for a long series, but they weren't. They were just doing, like, a one-season thing, and it doesn't work as a one-season thing. So that's the thing. Like, it was a really cool show that just, like, hit a weird point, and then I, now I, you know, I don't even remember most of the stuff that happened in it because I, it's kind of left my brain. Um, but the years went on. And as the years went on, I felt like they got had less and less misses or fewer and fewer misses. And now I feel like if Cloverworks name is on something, I'm pretty confident in it. You know, like I, I, I feel like they are, to me, to, to my tastes, they are mostly hits now. And, um, and their hits can be fucking great. Like stuff like, uh, my dress up darling they did, right? Um, and my dress up darling's fantastic. Spy family obviously is fantastic. Um, there's just, they're, they're doing some really, really, really good shit. So I, I love Cloverworks now and I hope they continue to, um, you know, continue to put this much passion into shows because this show feels like it has passion and that's what I love, you know, especially a show about passion. You want to make sure that the studio is also putting their passion into it because there's not, not, not much sadder than if you have a series that has a theme like this but the actual ironically the the show production goes against those themes because that, that's always really sad 
But um, but I loved that. I loved the idea that Togame has a th this thought about, or like rather Sakura talks about how he doesn't turn away when he's you know when he's fighting for something. He doesn't turn away from it. He doesn't distort his own image and who he is. He just he fights for it. And in saying that, Togame realizes like Choji. Choji was, you know, becoming not what I wanted for this place, and what I did, what I chose to do, was turn away from that problem. I just basically was, like, swept it under the rug and, and made it in such a way that I could keep what I wanted, kind of, but distorted myself to do it. And he realized, like, that's not what I should have done, and he finally realizes what I should have done is beat the shit out of Choji, <laughs> or attacked him, like, fought for it, actually fought for my ideals, not change who I was, but fight for what I think, and, um, and maybe that would have made a difference, maybe it wouldn't have, because Choji seems like, you know, it, it seems like it's hard to get through to him, but maybe that's the only way you could have gotten through to him, and maybe, you know, that was earlier in his character, now he's, like, been sort of this, this king, this tyrant for a long time that he might have distorted too much now to change, but back then, when he wasn't as distorted, maybe you could have, I don't know. Regardless, it's really cool, and there's a lot of fun character things you can dive into, I love it, and next episode we get more of the Umemio Choji fight, and I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It's going to be great. So thank you for watching this episode. Make sure to support the video if you can, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account if you want the full-length reactions, as well as early access ex exclusive videos, uh, lots of other stuff for this channel and my Gen Watches One Piece channel. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.